Warning. All displays of negativity will be deliciously repackaged and properly returned to sender. Only good vibes allowed beyond this point. Now if you're ready, come on in. It's so short. Hey, y'all. Yes, so I wanted to hop on here because, hey, Biggie, hey, Biggie, baby. So I wanted to hop on here, y'all, because my daughter is throwing a temper tantrum for me trying to help her yesterday with her performance. Her team had her about to go out with her titties dragging to the floor. Her ass was ashy. And I, of course, as her mom, as the person who gives really a fuck about her that's just not gloating in her dream right now, had something to say about it and I tried to fix her bra. One of her team members then wanted to try to fix her bra, but I'm gonna put the whole episode out and show y'all since she wants to try to leave thank yous. She wanna try to leave thank yous to these raggedy ass bitches like I'm not the one to help her, help her get where she at. But I want y'all to go watch the episode, the before and after, how I how I just went the fuck off because they're about to let my baby go out on stage looking like motherfucking Kizzy from Africa, okay? Bitch, just because your titties hang don't mean you can't put a bra on. My titties hang too. I don't go outside or do no performances without my titties propped up right, okay? So yes, I threw a temper tantrum last night because her weird ass fucked up ass team that didn't really give a fuck. I want y'all, after y'all go watch the episode, I want y'all to go tell her, Callie, your mom really saved your motherfucking life. Go tell her, Callie, your mom really saved the fucking day because you was about to be out there looking like you needed some fucking drums and a bone in your motherfucking nose because your team was about to have you out there stretched out looking a motherfucking mess, okay? And ain't now motherfucking pop person posted your shit yet. Okay, so make sure y'all run tell my daughter this entitlement that, that her and her siblings have. It's gonna stop today because the mama's finna run this bag up and I'm not finna look back for a motherfucking nobody, okay? Not now, nobody. Because everybody I try to help is disrespectful and entitled. Just like Blue, I'm in this restaurant helping you build this shit. Got motherfuckers coming through for the comedy. Oh, we packing this bitch out. I get a liquor license and then you want to, y'all want to play games with y'all weird ass girlfriends and friends. Like, what the fuck is the problem? I try to help you. Now, if your girlfriends and your team had your titties together, I would have just been able to sit there and enjoy the motherfucking show. But you my daughter. I'm not finna let some weird ass bitches that wish they was you let you go out on stage like that. That's not your team, dumbass. Now, she giving everybody thank you, talking about I ruined her night. But y'all gonna see how her night would have been ruined today because they would have posted that shit everywhere. Look at Callie. Look how Callie got up on stage. Now y'all gonna see the before and afters and we gonna show my entitled ass kids yet again. We gonna show her, your mama saved your motherfucking day. Okay, be grateful to your mama. Cause your friends was finna, and I got the before and after I went off. Okay, they was finna let her go out on stage. The before and after. So I'm about to make sure my team put this episode out early. Fuck waiting till next week. Mike, Sky, if y'all in here, we gonna pay for a whole hour today. So on Sunday, tomorrow, we gonna, I'm talking right now. We gonna put out both the episodes for a whole hour. Fuck it. We gonna put out both the whole episodes for a whole hour. So y'all can go tell my daughter, your mama saved your day. You was about to go out on stage looking and, 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 and I want y'all to look at the makeup. Look at everything. And y'all know how pretty Callie is with or without no makeup. Your makeup was ugly. I'm gonna be real about it. 
Okay, your hair was your hair was decent. I like I was fucking with the hair, whoever did the hair. The makeup was not, it wasn't it. And I put the red lipstick on her, okay? So when y'all see her before and after, I went in and made the necessary adjustments for her motherfucking performance to turn out the way the fuck it did. And yes, I went off because if you sitting there and you my girl and my titties are sagging and my whole areola that's bigger than two quarter pieces is hanging out and I look like Kizzy from fucking Color Purple and I'm gonna hit the stage like I'm Nicki Minaj only by the hair, okay? Cause not the makeup, the outfit was decent, but it needed some adjustments. I told, I turned that motherfucker upside down to get her from looking before and after, okay? So yes, I'm a bit extra, but I know how shit's supposed to be. I've been in this industry a long motherfucking time to know. You don't go out there with no bra on, without no bra on. They have my baby about to go out on stage with no bra on. And you got two kids, you gonna just go on out there just like that? That's what we doing? And your friends like, oh, that's cute. Girl, your friends don't shave their motherfucking underarm pits. You can't get no advice from them. Have them clean up your clothes or dab some shit or do something. Then she ain't have lotion. My assistant, Bree had to put lo go be look at the before and after. As she asks. And then when the ass ain't ass, she Brie rubbed that motherfucker down with lotion. Cause I said, Brie, what, what, what we doing? Can, can somebody make a move before I make a move? Cause I know I'm gonna go off. And yes, I did go off. But if she wants to say that I ruined her performance, it turned out to be amazing and she looked amazing because of me. And we, the whole world finna be see the before and after. I, I try to keep stuff with me and Callie on the low low because she's ungrateful also. I try to keep it on the low low because I don't I don't want I don't want y'all to be like, "Oh, you just don't get along with none of your kids." It's the entitlement, bitch. You're here because I'm out here shaking and baking and moving and scraping. Okay? If I give you some advice, tell these bitches my mom said tighten this shit up. How, do it how my mama want it. Same thing with Blue. All he had to do with Krishan was, my mama said don't bring the dog in here. She don't want to clean up no dog shit. But they want to try to force me to accept the mediocre bullshit that they doing. And that's why they shit all fucked up. Stop trying to tell me how to run the shit. Just like when I put y'all on these basketball teams and got you these full ride scholarships and these contracts before y'all weird asses got there. Who the fuck y'all? Y'all thought y'all was that good? They thought they was that good. They thought they was they thought they thought they was Cam Newton. That's what they thought. No, y'all got that shit because I'm out here making moves. I got the gift of gab and I believe in making shit happen. Y'all motherfucking carpet munchers, motherfucking sitting around acting like y'all got it, y'all don't. Okay? The best thing Blue had going for him was that restaurant. And that liquor license popped up on the scene. I got him that liquor license. Boom. Here come the devil. He ain't got the restaurant no more. That was long term. We had a goal and a plan. We would be at about $4 million a year on the restaurant right now. If I, I was supposed to get restaurant number two. I already picked out restaurant number two on La Brea in his hood. Whole, if I go show y'all the restaurant that I picked off that number two restaurant, you will scream to where my son should be at right now. Now you a partner. And the partner people ain't even opening your shit while you gone. Your mama had your shit up and running. Now Callie thinks she got the big head and she got two fuck bitches running around with her. And okay, they was about to let you go out on stage looking fucked up. Now that's fine if they don't fuck with me. But it don't look like they fuck with you neither. Because if my friend ever let me go out on stage with my titties hanging and don't say, oh, babe, you need a bra or, or let my ass be ashy and I'm twerking. Yeah, Kelly might have had a couple drinks, was feeling herself, but your homegirls is supposed to be help you get elevate. Them two bitches that standing next to you at all time is supposed to help you elevate. They are at all times supposed to be oiling you down, bitch. You ash. This our bag. That's you're their bag. You're their bag. You're supposed to get them to the next level of doing Nicki Minaj makeup or doing this person makeup. You there? You're their. You're their proper. Their bag right now. And if I don't share Callie's shit, who gonna share it? Now this bitch gonna call me and ask me, the weird ass makeup artist. Let me get the footage to Callie's show. Why? Cause you didn't video shit, bitch. Why you ain't got no video footage of your bitch?
Bree don't never let me go out like that. So now they ain't got no video footage, so now they gonna call and be mad. So now you gonna see right now that me and Kelly ain't getting along cause I won't give up six out video footage for her to go put on Instagram for free. Now why the fuck would I do that? That's not a money move. And I paid for the mother, you know how much video, our, our sessions cost? I'm paying for the cameras to be out there. Why would I give you something to put on Instagram for free? That makes no motherfucking sense, but I'm about to just go my way work on my auntie's podcast show for the Zeus Network, continue to work on my six eye because I got a great fucking team and a great fucking show coming on the network. I don't need my kids. I'm doing them a favor. They keep thinking that I need them. You, Y'all don't need me. Blue, can't, Blue cannot get up and sing Tatiana when he 40. But if we would have had a chain of motherfucking Shaquille O'Neal restaurants, what he would have been doing at 40? With his feet propped up and the shit was running and rolling. Blue didn't put no money into that restaurant. Every dollar that I used, he bought the equipment and put me in there. The expansion to the next place all came out the restaurant. All the liquor license, all that shit, I was rolling and flipping, already flipping. We only one year in the game and we already flipping that money. We was flipping that restaurant money, okay? I did a whole other side, opened up, had somebody come cut a wall out, got a liquor license, we on the road, here come Krishan. Now you ain't got no restaurant. Cause when your mom pull out the game, you don't really have no game. That was your long term future goal. That was your future bag. Do y'all know how much money Shaquille O'Neal make just on that restaurant, that one downtown establishment? Go look it up if I'm lying. He do between, between three and five million dollars a year. Selling the same shit we was making. Our numbers was matching his year numbers. I'm watching his numbers. I'm watching my son numbers. I'm already doing this. I already, this is all, this is nothing to me. I do this shit in my sleep. I sold a restaurant in Ohio for quarter million dollars. I do this shit in my sleep. I open shit, I flip it. If I don't want to be there, I sell it. I make my money, I get to moving. Now my son can't, he ain't even sold the shit. At least sell it. Now this shit just sitting there waiting on you to come home. Because you got two dizzy bitches who can't run it. And you thought that quick money that they was going to make you you was going to be, that was dumb. If anything, your restaurant, we, we was on, he already said, all right, mom, go go get number two. I'm on the number two. If I sh I'm going to show y'all what, matter of fact, I want that on the next episode. The restaurant that me and Blue was supposed to open on La Brea in his hood. Okay? Re Wilshire and La Brea. Now there's a new soul food restaurant there right now and go look at their numbers. Don't play with me when I'm on the phone. These kids is so ungrateful. Y'all just don't know how hard it is for a mother to get their kids where they supposed to be, where they envisioned on being because they think they got it all together. Now Callie ain't nowhere done did a fucking episode. We ain't seen her since, uh, we ain't seen her again on baddies yet. Okay, I don't know if she's shadow banned from their advertisement or what. But I told her, I said, don't go over there fucking with Natalie. She the boss. Don't do that. It's Hollywood. I've been out here a long time. I know how this shit work. Now my son's sitting in jail. Ain't got no restaurant. Hoping he get out and make another Tatiana. So other people could eat off that and take half of that. The restaurant was all him. Okay? That was all him. Every dollar that was coming in there, I was flipping that shit. Do y'all realize Blue had a liquor license in Santa Clarita, California? This nigga's the only nigga, he's the only nigga in Santa Clarita with a business. And a liquor license. And we was packing that bitch out for comedy every weekend, y'all. We had 10 to 15 employees on payroll, not hidden employees, not down low. We had the real shit going on. You see how my kids try to play me like, oh, my mama cloud chasing, it's my mama nigga. If it wasn't for me, y'all wouldn't have shit, y'all wouldn't be shit, and y'all wouldn't be here, okay? I paid for all them studio sessions. Every time the motherfucker called, I dished out the money. No questions asked. But y'all wanna run around here thinking, oh, mama blue cloud chasing, mama blue holding shit down. Okay, now Callie thinks she a movie star and she a one hit wonder with the TV. She got one good song going. 
Now today she's supposed to do the celebrity basketball. The people calling me, she they wanted to perform for the celebrity basketball. I ain't got nothing to do with that. They was filling her music last night, but they looking for me, looking for her. So they call me because they can't get a hold of her team because somebody on her team probably hooked her up with that interview so they can get paid on the back end or some clout. She don't even know. The, they not calling, telling you about they got a whole jersey made for her to play in the game and then go change clothes and perform at a celebrity basketball game during BET weekend. This bitch goes and does something, I'm gonna do a, I got an interview book. Bitch, you were supposed to do like Nicki Minaj and tell them motherfuckers, I can't do the interview, I can pull up next week. I got celebrity basketball game and I'm finna perform in front of other celebrities. I gotta make this money move. Your team, who don't even shave their motherfucking dusty ass underarm kits. How you trust a bitch that don't even shave her underarm with your life? How you got a team member with a dirty black ass underarm? I can't stand that hoe, I'm telling you. Then this girl calls me, time out. Can we get footage of Callie performing last night? You mean the footage that I paid for for my show? Now why the fuck would I do that? Why would I give Callie footage from last night? For, Cause you didn't video? Cause you was too busy chilling? Was she chilling? She was chilling! How your motherfucking girls they're with you, helping you go to the top, and they don't got no video footage. No video? Y'all ain't got no footage? You mean I'm the only one with the footage? The motherfucker who ruined her night? It's cool, though, because I'm going to put the footage out. I'm going to show them how your girls had you about to walk out on stage looking <laughs> with no drums and no bone in your nose. It did, the concept didn't go, okay? I didn't know if it was Whoopi Goldberg or Nicki Minaj. It was like she was trying to do both. I mean, I'm I, I, I'm confused, but we go we go. I'm gonna post the before and after. I'm gonna make sure it's in the trailer, just in case y'all cheap ass motherfuckers. You know how y'all do. Y'all don't want to watch the whole show. And I'm gonna make sure it's in the trailer, and then y'all can hear the dialogue. Y'all to hear my dialogue. How nice I was and how nice I tried to do it. I wasn't ghetto or disrespectful. I didn't ruin her dress and get the lipstick on it. The bitch tried to snatch the dress out of my hand. I snatched it back. Yes, Callie was wearing it. So, yes, technically it was a tug of war over my daughter. Bitch, if I grab my daughter, you move the fuck out the way. That's my daughter. I brought her here. I take both you out. Why she was moving me while I'm moving Callie? So, Bree couldn't fix it because she want to act like... Now, it's a strap that you know how y'all got the bra that straps on both sides so you can cross the strap. Why was this dizzy bitch tying my daughter's bra in a fucking knot? If I'm lying, watch the episode. This this ain't promo. This real talk, real shit. Watch the episode and then I want y'all to go tell that dirt, dusty underarm pit ass dreadlock bomba motherfucking what's the, the predator looking like the fucking predator y'all go tell her you was about to do Carlissa daughter wrong and she tried to stop you because i already know what you want you y'all when y'all when my daughter friends tell me i wish i was callie i wish i had a mom like callie they're so ungrateful then they now she callie best friend but before that she wished she had a mom like callie okay y'all see where i'm coming from with this Y'all see where I'm coming from with this. Now, this is the come up move. Now, me, close as me and Callie been, tight as we have been, bobbing and weaving. Now, here come the devil sending that destruction. Tell, just, I want to know if the bitch is baptized. Because why you got people on your team that ain't baptized? I taught you don't move with a motherfucker that ain't been baptized. Why you talk, why you even, why, why is she even on your team? Is she from our hood? Is she from hood Jesus Christ? No. I can guarantee you I don't know, but I know she ain't been dipped. Because ain't nobody that's been dipped finna snatch my daughter's bra out my hand because you didn't want to crisscross it when it crisscrossed. She's tying her bra in a knot. Who ties their bra in a knot before a major performance? It was almost 500 people there. Who does that? Now, once I grabbed my daughter's bra and started to work on it, you were supposed to say, oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. Let me, do you need me to do anything else, moms? This bitch didn't even speak to me. Y'all gonna watch the episode. From the moment I walk up to my daughter, this bitch rolls her eyes, don't even speak to me. How you gonna be friends with my daughter and don't 
acknowledge and respect. You a whole Krishan. How you not going to respect my daughter? You think God going to let you get away with this? That's what you think? Do you not see? That ain't making no sense. If my daughter, if I touch my daughter and say, move out the way I got it, bitch, that means go to the other side of the motherfucking building. Because I won't hit you. I'm going to look at Bree and she going to knock you cold the fuck out. She ain't gonna, but I might. I, <laughs> she like, wait a minute, girl. I'm telling you, that was that was that right there. It's cool though, Callie, because I'm out to show. Why you? Why you? I wasn't even gonna put it out there, but why you putting me in post like I ruined your night, trying to make you know your fan base or I don't know your people like, oh, there go Mama Blue acting up again she just wants the cloud or she wanted to be all about her i tried to make my daughter look like a motherfucking princess and a queen that she is and she wanted a dreadlock uh super predator to tie her bra in a goddamn bionic knot and go out there with a tied up bra in the back instead of crisscrossing the straps the bra is a victoria's secret i don't buy the i spent a hundred dollars on cali bras why are you tying it in a knot why? When somebody mama trying to help them, you slide to the side gently and say, oops, my bad mom. Can I, is there anything else I could do? Then I want y'all to go look at my daughter's lipstick on camera. One of her dancers had red lipstick on. I said, baby, can you take that red lipstick stick off? I need Callie to put that red lipstick on. I, that might've been a big extra. That was her choice whether she did or not. And I think she left the lipstick on. That's cool. But you know what? Can you give her the red lipstick too? Because her lips is not popping for a performance right now. I can't even see her lips. And she's going to have her lips on video on a whole motherfucking microphone. So can we put that lipstick on Callie? Now, the makeup artist should have known that that wasn't popping. Because it wasn't popping. And if your makeup popping, bitch, you don't need a filter. When Tay puts my makeup on, I don't put a filter on for y'all. You feel me? If I pay for makeup from a professional, I don't need to put on no filter. When, pa when Tay put my makeup on, have y'all ever seen me put on a filter? No. You know why? Because he got that shit every angle. Why Kelly got, go look, filter on all the fucking makeup. You know why? Because the shit's ugly look like her under armpits i don't know where i'm going you should be driving because i'm I that mad because you, you left us out here with no heat on <laughs> no no air conditioner and then i read callie's post did you see it talking about my mom ruined my night because she got lipstick y'all gonna watch the video and then y'all gonna say you know what her kids is being a bit extra with her and she really trying to help them all her kids Every single one of the motherfuckers and the nephew. Y'all gonna see the whole video. You gonna see from beginning to end how that outfit looked, okay? And then I want y'all to go look at everybody else's outfits that was performing. Diamond the Body, Sapphire. Go look, and then y'all want y'all to go look. Your team is always supposed to have you a backup outfit that's better than the outfit that the people have. I would have told her that. Because if you don't like the outfit that they pull for you, you got your shit ready to roll. You don't go nowhere without your backup outfit. Now, I get it. If people want you to wear their shit, that's cool. If you're doing some promo. But if you don't like the shit and you in the industry and your image and your brand is on it, you tell the people, I don't want to wear that. I'm going to wear my shit. She ain't even had no backup shit. Because your team ain't that smart. They don't shave their underarm pits. Mm. Now, I'm going to give this heifer some clout. But, uh, but that's strictly because I want my daughter to see the before and after of how that motherfucker was about to have you walk out on that stage. Okay? Like you was about to be a goddamn monkey in a chimpanzee zoo. And I try to help you. And when y'all go watch it, y'all go tell her, your mama really helped you out, Callie. She, otherwise, you would have been out there. One titty would have fell out this pocket. The other one would have been out that pocket. And you would have just been flapping like a goddamn titty chicken. I 
can't calm down because I'm tired of my kids trying to make it like I, oh I'm trying to I'm trying to steal their clout or they show bitch I don't need I'm I'm the character I don't need y'all clout clout I'm trying to help y'all I wasn't even trying to do no TV shit I was in the restaurant working for my son y'all I was not even here but I see them out here fumbling the whole fucking bag giving it away to bums and strangers so I'm like fuck it I gotta get on and make some moves out here cause y'all out here fumbling the bag just like y'all did in college now I didn't split my ass and have three c-sections for y'all to be running around here like y'all ain't got no damn home training And don't start getting on here talking about my damn grandson while I'm mad. Now, he, the, the baby is with the goddamn auntie, and that's where the parents want him. Now, stop worrying about that until you hear otherwise. She got a couple sisters that, that she find uh, favorable to help with her kid. Now, it's 12 of them. Get it together. Stop acting weird before she get out here and beat y'all up again. But she goes and makes a whole post thanking everybody but the motherfucker who didn't have her looking like she work at the goddamn zoo. Now how you gonna stand next to Cardi B and them and, and, you, and you ain't got no bra on? Now I know you just coming up and you might not be sure if you want to fix your boobs or not. But you still gotta put a bra on. This how she about to was about, this how she about to was about to perform last night. Just like this. Do not do this look like I should be performing right now. Like this. Where the bag at? Where the bag at? Now do it look like I should be out there like that. This how her lips was looking too. Hold on. This how the lips was. Now I want y'all to go notice the difference. The bra and the lipstick. And then you tell that heifer you need to go thank your mama. Because them trash ass hoes next to you don't even shave their underarm. On now now I'm just hanging out with my grandkids being a grandma right now but I know damn well if I go to an event I gotta go home and put my Victoria's Secret on for these saggy motherfuckers don't be hitting the floor okay you know what I mean Y'all gonna see the before and after because she gonna try to blame me like, oh, you did the same thing to Blue. That's why none of your kids mess with you. Cause I asked you, cause I try to fix your bra and she, her friend snatched the bra. So then she, y'all gonna see it. Then she snatched the bra and the lipstick got all over her dress. So then I guess it took them some time to get the lipstick off the dress. And she thought everybody was leaving because Von Dutch people was a lot of them models. And they was like going around saying their goodbyes. They were models. But she thought everybody was leaving before she could perform and wasn't nobody going to be out there. So she was going to be looking crazy. Now, when she got out there and saw every seat full, everybody on their feet, everybody dancing, having a good time. Now, did I not prep the show before she got there? I said, when my daughter come out here, everybody better be on their motherfucking feet. Y'all going to see who was not on their feet. Nobody. Everybody listened to the mama. 
and we all had a good fucking time. The performance was great. And you wasn't standing there looking like this. Where the bag at? Where the bag at? Girl, the bag is in your titties hanging down to the floor. That's what it was. Now don't try to get on there and show out for your little friends. That's what you don't want to do, partner. Because I will feed it to both y'all. You, you want to show off for your little friends? Girl, you want to show off for your little friends? That ain't my neighbor no more. I upgraded. I will let these motherfuckers know. Show off for your little friends if you want to. And that's why I keep y'all say, why you always take the cameras everywhere y'all go? So these motherfuckers can't never, ever blame me no more. I take it to court. I take it to the performance. I take it everywhere I go. Because guess what? If I didn't have the cameras last night. And I almost didn't take them because she said it was her thing and she was going to do her thing. But could you imagine if I didn't have actual footage of the entire night? How she would have me out here looking again with y'all inboxing me. Your kids hate you. You dogging your kids. You clout chasing off your kids. If I didn't have the footage. See what I'm saying? If I didn't have the footage all day life. Because all I got is them punk ass pictures. And I know I'll be posting them over and over again. Because I'll be trying to remind y'all and give y'all hints. That it's them. It ain't me. Because if my mama tried to fix my bra. Now if I tried to fix Cardi B's bra before she went out. You think she about to have another weird ass bitch snatching on her life. You should have fixed the bra girl before I went out there. Now you gonna try to fix it while my mama here. And you gonna tie my bra in a knot. Well, who has ever tied their bra in a knot? I just want to know. Who has ever tied a Victoria's Secret bra that crosses in the back? Because it was a the strap she had was across your strap. Who has ever in their life tied their bra in a knot? If you tied your bra in a knot, you get them. And that don't even make sense. That ain't even finna hold your titties up. It's finna space them apart. Then you're gonna have drippage and leakage, and it's still gonna look crazy. But she ain't gonna look like that. Y'all gonna see how she look. Because another lady came and said, let me help. The, another lady that worked there came and said, let me help her because I don't want her mom to be upset with how she looks. So let me just do it for her. This Y'all, I got the whole thing on camera. In its hand, I got the whole thing. On the camera, I got the whole thing. On the camera. I got the whole thing on the camera. I got the whole, when my son get out, he can't say, oh, you mommy, you was out there acting a fool. You ain't care about my baby. You let them take my baby. You ain't check, uh-uh. It's on camera, blue face. It's on camera. I tried to get your daddy to take your baby, boy. I tried to get your daddy to take your baby because the baby already knew your daddy and he was right there. Do you want to see the camera footage? Because, you know, they always try to blame their mama. When things go wrong, they blame mama. No, no, mama got money for camera footage. Now, nah. okay, I ain't got to hold the camera. I got camera footage. When, they, when things go wrong, you ain't finna blame this mama. I bet y'all don't have me out here tomorrow. Now they gonna say, oh, you want to sleep with your daughter. That's where they about to say, now, no, ma'am, I got the camera footage. He can't say, he can't even say, he can't even lie and say I set Krishan up. Because guess what? I wasn't even there. I didn't know nothing about Popo till I got there. I went to court in the morning time. They didn't tell me that the court time changed. I went and had lunch. I came back. The, my security guard is on my camera footage telling me what happened. I wasn't even there, didn't even know nothing. So and why y'all gonna try to make them think, oh, Carlissa has something to do with it. Guess what? I got the whole thing on the camera. I got the whole thing on the camera. Now she gonna be mad that I blocked her cause she said, oh, shut up old lady. Now she gonna look up and be mad that she can't be on here with the other 1.2 million people we got on this live. And then her motherfucking ass gonna be mad as hell cause Brie better not unblock her. They 
they thought it was me, but I got it on camera, baby. What, what Tupac say? When shit go wrong, they blame mama. Bet you don't blame this mama. I got it all on camera, honey. That's why they be trying to sneak me. Callie be like, you don't need to bring the camera. Mm-mm. Long as I'm y'all mama, I need the camera. Y'all ain't gonna have the internet on here talking about I ain't no type of mama no more. Then don't even speak up. Don't even speak up. <laughs> now I'm at the performance. I'm doing my due diligence and I got the kids. Say hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Say hi, Carter. Now she asked him, he ready to go home. He don't want to go home. You know why? Because they like the mama. That's why. <laughs> and she mad at him because he don't want to go home. Huh? Callie got to listen this time. She, y'all, I'm going to need y'all to tell her thank you, baby. Who said that? Where, let me pin that. Let me pin that. Because ain't no way they mama's supposed to be more popping than them. Ain't no way. I'm supposed to be somewhere sitting down while they get the while they get out here in the field and get the fucking bag. No, nah, they want to be out here running around on, on on fucking retreats with weirdos that ain't even been baptized. How I pin this green? Hold it. I'm holding it. and ain't pinning. Cause you on Instagram got your page all jammed up won't let strangers pin you or something girl mm -hmm. her comment said Callie need to listen after we watch this episode y'all I need y'all to go tell Callie she need to listen okay so the link is in my bio if you just want to come watch this episode I might make it free just to make an example it's gonna be a whole hour cuz I'm gonna play I'm instead of waiting till next Sunday I'm gonna put the whole last week and this week all together at once and then y'all go look and say, damn, Callie, you should have listened to your mom because you was really about to go out there like that. Then you got on here on the Instagram and told the whole world that it was your, your mama ruined your performance. Girl, your performance was going to be ruined if you was out there and ain't had no drums to go with them titties. I'm talking about her with her kids in the car. I'm talking about the experience that happened. Yes, ma'am. I ain't gonna never lie in front of her kids. What I missed, what happened? Girl, we ain't, you gonna have to watch the live. I ain't saying that all over again. You trying to run my blood pressure up. Exactly. I'm over here doing both. I'm over here juggling the kids, still doing all this, and you, you want to try to argue with me? You should have made the uh, the girl that don't shave her underarm pits the nanny, cause the makeup was not popping. Yes, if you on Patreon, you will see this on Sunday. And if you're not on Patreon, you better get on Patreon, cause I record all our family shit, so they can't never ever blame me. I don't care if the motherfuckers don't talk to me for 10 years when they pull up that camera gonna be right there to say hello welcome back because I ain't went nowhere and after after Dre did his little shit I said oh no baby from now on I will always have the cameras y'all talking about some why you always got the cameras getting cloud off your kids <laughs> this why Yes, ma'am. I took the cameras to Colt. You sure did. Took them to the jail, too. I'm, I'm going to play all this shit for their kids one day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put I'm, the whole catalog. It's four, four seasons. What, about 40 episodes? On the Patreon right now. Y'all can go watch everything from the beginning. And you tell me who fault, who not listening, 
who not honoring their mother so that their days could be long and well. Because guess what? My days is long and well. Okay? And don't y'all start talking about I'm messing with nothing. My nose itching because Callie over there talking about me. That bitch over there talking about me. So my nose keep itching. Rock got a team and she need hers. Yeah, she need, she definitely need, Krishan had a good team. I will give her that. I don't want nobody. I would have preferred her team, Krishan's team, to help her with self-control and self-awareness a little bit more. I would have, I would have preferred her have that type of team. Then, um, but she, they definitely had her back, honey. But they definitely should have had her had her front. They should have jumped on her before they let her jump on that man. Okay? And me. <laughs> Shit. Now Callie probably gonna let the makeup artist whoop my ass. But I'ma tell you this right here. The next one of their little friends that whoop my ass, I'm telling you, I ain't gonna take the fall. <laughs> that I ain't gonna do. Junior would have blended right on in. He would have heard me in here probably talking shit too, but hey, he would have blended right on in. <laughs> Carter got three rooms in my mansion, okay? How many rooms you got, Carter? <laughs> how many PlayStations? <laughs> um, how many TVs? <laughs> okay, Carter's living the life. <laughs> yeah, I be talking a lot of shit, but I be making up for it. Don't no, I, Carter? I know I need to wash the wig. I might take it off today, y'all. How do I get on Patreon? The link is in my bio. You can literally go pay for all 40 episodes. Everybody on that motherfucker. Jaden, Rob, Callie, Blue, Dre. And y'all can all go determine for yourself. If it's me. That's Bree on there. Bree on there every week trying to figure out the madness. She don't even understand. Y'all go on there and see and tell, let me know in the comments. They always talking in the comments. I let people talk shit in the Patreon comments and give their opinions because they moms in there and they be having some shit to say and sometimes I listen to it and sometimes I be like, fuck you too. But you know what I'm saying? If you paying for it, I got to accept your opinion. And I read all the comments on my Patreon. Now, I might not read all my Instagram comments, but I read every single comment. And I respond to a lot of comments on Patreon because I feel like people be a little bit more honest and open. Now, if they tell me I'm doing too much, I try to do a little, a little bit more. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> they tell me I'm doing too much, I try to do a little bit more sometimes. But if I feel like you being genuine, I, tr I might try to down downsize a little bit, but it's hard. You know what I'm saying? I'm raising future billionaires. I'm raising um, pastors and deacons. And, you know, Kelly wants to provide homeless shelters for all the children in America. Like her road is going to be long and steep for what she what God got a call on her life for. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't just have anybody around her. And if you don't shave your underarm pits, how you gonna help Callie? Callie underarm pits is lickable. They're beautiful. She don't even need deodorant. That's how beautiful her underarm pits is. Now don't y'all get carried away talking about I wanna be with my daughter. Like y'all did with my son. Just go watch all the episodes. That's all I'm saying. It's 40 episodes and y'all can go be the judge for y'all self to see if I help them, hinder them, or whatever the case may be. And when Blueface get out, yes, I will be at the front door at the gate with the camera. Keep praying for your kids. They will thank you later. Girl, sometimes I gotta, sometimes, you ever been so mad you gotta call your prayer sisters to pray for your kids because they done made you so damn mad? 
that's where I'm at with it. First it was uh, first it was um, blue, then it was Dre, now it's Cali, and I'm like, <laughs> even Jaden, I tried to help her. Jaden wouldn't have had, Rock wouldn't have had no leverage over Jaden if Jaden would have listened to me. I said, bitch, if you move your feet, you gonna lose your seat. What she do? Moved her motherfucking feet. Now we got a whole new baby by a whole new lady. I, if you ready to go, bounce. But if you not ready to go, and you finna go tug of war and toe to toe with another whole bitch, you don't move. You stay grounded and rooted in that motherfucker like Cardi B. And you smile at them motherfuckers and then you talk your shit behind closed doors. But bitch, if you move your feet before you, you gonna lose your seat. Now if you wanna wait and work till the bitch get gone and, and tired of playing with you and then leave, if that's your strategy, that's your strategy. But if you the type of bitch, I tried to help Jaden and she just would not listen. She got, she started smelling her phone. She thought my little TV show wasn't going to work because she wasn't on it. Girl, I raised three sons. God already told me what it was when it was what it was. You thought because you didn't get on my show. Well, Callie about to surpass you tomorrow. Well, Callie is about to surpass Jaden tomorrow. The phone is ringing off the hook. She turning motherfuckers down. Talking about she don't want to perform today. She got an interview. Now, unless you finna interview with the president of the United States, how you turning down, how you turning down performance? We need everybody to hear the music. We don't wanna hear you talk, girl, we wanna hear you rap. All I'm saying is they don't wanna listen, even the people that's been blessed to be a part of my family that's getting blessings off my family tree, they still don't want to listen to me, even Krishan. I said, all you got to do is listen to me, baby. We, I will help you with Blue. I will help you, but you got to listen to me. I'm not going to change your dog shit and, to, and these other two dogs. Take the dog over there to your mama and we Gucci. She wanted to go toe for toe to try to prove to me that my son fuck with her more than he fuck with me to the point where he in jail. He ain't got no restaurant and now he got to hurry up and get out and make another Tatiana. We will be on restaurant number four. We were supposed to get a restaurant every six months. Why they don't listen? I don't know why they don't listen. But by the time I get to my billion, I'm not sharing with them. The only person I'm sharing with is Mr. Staffo and Brie gonna get her percentage. Other than that, and my grandkids, all of them, even the ones that don't fuck with me, all the grandkids. I'm not giving my kids shit. So y'all could be like, oh, she clout chased her way to the top. And she ain't give them nothing. No, ma'am, I'm not going to. You know why? Because I always put them in a position to be better than everyone else. And then they want to get take advice from everyone else. Blueface is the only one who got a scholarship in his goddamn class. On his football team. He's the only one who got a scholarship. Now, how you think that happened? A mysteriously out the wilderness? Oh, cause he was so good, huh? Let me just guess. He was just a he was just so good. <laughs> he just was so good. He the only one on his whole team got a scholarship. They don't listen. They entitled and they ungrateful. That's why Carter, I'm about to stop giving you stuff and you're gonna work for it. You're gonna work for everything I give you. Take the trash out, do the dishes. From now on, it ain't gonna be no, you gotta work for everything. I never do it. <laughs> you is. Well, you gonna take that trash out and clean out my new swimming pool. You gonna do something. Cause you already talking fast. I don't know how Jaden would be pregnant and my son been gone six months and all she had was that girl. Now if the girl got her pregnant, I don't know. Because if Jaden pregnant, she should be about due because my son been gone since January. So I don't know the common sense of that. Her nails right now say girls only. Okay. Jaden's son is blue face twin. Yes, he is his definitely, I'm talking about act alike, smell alike, talk alike. Except for blue was a little bit more humble as a kid. I feel like Javon is a little bit more like rich kid and that's okay. But. Blue's spirit as a kid was, it, it was unbelievable. It was undeniable. Like, I'm talking about just the sweetest piece of pie and respectful as he wanted to be. 
Yes, Jaden is doing good. Yes, she is. She doing real good. I do believe that she will always be with Blue, but I do believe that she will be a lot further ahead if she wouldn't have tried to block stop me or if she wouldn't have tried to be hating on me with my TV show and tell my son not to get on my show. That's my problem with her. A week after we held hands and prayed for my son to come back to her, as soon as he came back to her, I don't know what their problem is. I, I think they thought they was, they was going to be it and that was going to be all. <laughs> Last is first. I might be last, but last is first. You got to know the order of the Bible. I, I want to be last. I prayed to be last. I wish you was my mom. You see what I'm saying? They ungrateful. I wish you was my child. <laughs> because you probably wouldn't listen even. Soon as I got, as soon as you got out there and shake your ass one time, one time with your titties hanging and your ass ashy, you would have told me to kiss your ass too. I feel some way about Jaden right now because even, no matter how good or bad we get along, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to see my grandkids. Especially when you lived at my house, you're damn near most of your life. Then I moved wherever I moved. Only the people that know where I live is on Patreon. And y'all all welcome to come by as soon as I get this barbecue pit put together. Javon is a rich kid. Yeah, rich kids, they, they ain't no different. Callie ain't my twin. She her daddy's twin. What made Blueface change? I don't know. It could it could have been the money and the power. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's a hard pill to swallow when somebody's um. Oh no, I don't. When you when you get rich at 18 years old, with, 18 years old with millions of dollars. I'm just glad he's doing the best he could do, honey. Because if somebody gave me 18 million, 18 18 million. If somebody would have gave me a couple million dollars at 18, it would, I would have made some people disappear. <laughs> she said it's because the comment said it. She don't need that C-list show. C-list shows become A-list shows. They got to start somewhere. Tyler Perry started off in his car. That's what the fuck I be trying to tell y'all. Y'all don't be picking up what I be putting down. Everybody went through something to get somewhere. If you ain't going through something, your ass going to be stuck at that dead-end job at that desk all week long while everybody else out here buying houses and jet skis and living on beaches and shit. Drinking Mai Tais for breakfast. Grand I'm happy for you. Thank you, honey's love. Hey, thank you, honey's love, mom. Does Jay know where you live? No, nobody know where I live. She ate my last piece of chicken. Yes, she did. Right in front of my face. These women here must have never had a mother. Girl, some of them don't, but most of them do. I, I, I feel like most of these people know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, I did a lot of B-list movies back in my days, yes. And some C's too, and some of them I felt like was D's, but shit, they paid me. I was trying, I was giving it all I had. And then my son started getting in trouble messing with the police and I had to stop. Now he wanna run around here and act like I didn't do, like I ain't did nothing. Salute to Jaden from staying away from all this nonsense. Yes, thank God, we don't need her over here. We do not need Jaden, we ain't never needed Jaden, baby. We love the show, Carlissa. Thank you, the Toy Story. I know how I pin that. Ooh. 
Is my pen in my work? No. No. It's mine, not her. It's mine. Double click it. Go ahead, get it. Oh, there, there it went. Okay, how do I? Where'd it go? show honestly so I and you my clear. favorite everybody so if y'all already a subscriber and y'all ready to watch this whole hour throw the middle finger because I need y'all to go tell Callie that I made a good judgment call and she made a bad one Again. And I took my jacuzzi with me, so by next week we'll be back in the jacuzzi on our regular schedule. Girls meeting hot tub tea. And thank you, Shay Too Sexy. Stop. Sit down. Sit back. Jay did more in a year than y'all did in four years. <laughs> Our bank account is bigger. Kids do, girl, don't they? They so ungrateful. Mom is a is a 